everybody, I thought I would do some science with you this afternoon. So before we start, check that you have an adult's permission to use things around the house and check that you've got an adult on hand to help you as well. Uh, all you will need are, I've got two glasses uh, with quite a wide rim at the top, um, some water, tablespoon and some salt and an egg. Make sure you wash your hands really carefully before you before and after you use the eggs, as eggs can carry some germs on them as well, make you feel quite poorly. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to try and make the egg float in water. So this glass contains 200 millilitres of just normal tap water. Okay, watch what happens when I put the egg in the glass. Gently. The egg sinks to the bottom. Now, in this glass, can you guess what I've put in to make the egg float? I have put in, oh, <laughs> maybe you want to use a spoon to help you get the egg out. I have put in some salt. So I just kept adding tablespoons of salt and stirring it really well. So I've got adding just one more tablespoon of salt there, but I already have quite a few inside as well. And I'm stirring the salt really, really well until it dissolves and makes a solution with the water. Now dissolve means that the bits of particles of salt break down so you can hardly see them and it becomes part of the water. I'm going to keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. See all the salt granules at the bottom? I want to get rid of those. I'm going to keep going. Count to ten. One, two, three, four, When the salt has fully dissolved, add your egg gently into the salt water solution and you can see the egg is floating to the top. Now the reason this happens is because at first the egg is more dense than the water so it sinks straight to the bottom but as you add water, as you add salt to the water to create a solution, the water becomes more dense than the egg so the egg floats to the top. Have a go at home and see if you can find out how many tablespoons of salt it takes to make the egg float in 200 millilitres of water. Now, for an extra challenge, I also have ooh, a bowl of water here and I have a satsuma. Now, watch what happens when I put the satsuma in my bowl of water. Now, I don't know if you can see it very clearly on the camera, but the satsuma is floating at the top. Now, your challenge is to try and make the satsuma sink. Okay, I'm going to count to five. If you want to try this yourself without the answers, now is your time to pause the video. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to tell you how to do it. Okay, last chance to pause. Okay, what you've got to do is you've got to peel the satsuma, get all the rind off, and this time when I place the satsuma in the bowl, it sinks to the bottom. Have fun, let me know how you get on, bye everyone!